Jason Anglin with Tri-County Water Conditioning out of Hutchinson and Prior Lake. And I'm here today just to show you the difference that hard water and soft water have on your detergents and cleaning supplies you're using. So what we're going to do here today is just add three drops of just pure soap solution so it doesn't have all the additives that you'd see um, at a retail store. So we're going to add three drops to the hard water beaker here. And then we're going to add three drops to the soft water beaker here. And what I'm going to do is just mimic basically a washing machine. And we're going to shake these two up. Hard water first. You can hear the 18 grains hardness we have in Prior Lake water. So not much effect on the three drops of soap solution we added here. Here's the soft water. Much different sound, not nearly as loud. You can see all the suds that we're getting, getting for, getting for that one. And if we even add another six drops to the hard water, we'll just see if we get any more effect. Just kind of showing you the savings you're going to get having soft water as opposed to hard water. Because this, your soap solutions are basically fighting the hard water and you're not getting any results from that. So we got a little bit here, but it slowly dissipates down. We're now, if we kind of zoom in a little bit on the hard water, you can actually see your soap scum build up on the side of that beaker. So that's where you're seeing the build up in your shower, um, shower doors, shower, shower curtains. And also that detergent isn't able to release from your clothing, bedding, um, things like that. Where now if we look at the soft water, you can see in the beginning how clear it is at the bottom. And then nothing's sticking to the side of the beaker. Which water would you prefer to wash your clothes or bathe in?